It was an easy win for Elaine Tomsahera, the world's fastest woman in Morocco. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please. Hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go in and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops, which is about once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. And finally, leave your comments. After this, sports analysis where we break down and look at the races. And then we take a look at your comments. So stay until the end. You just might hear from yourself. When you're ready, yep, good to go. Moments ago at the Rabat Diamond League being held in Rabat, Morocco, the world's fastest woman, Jamaica's Elaine Tom Sahara, won an easy victory over the women's 100 meter running a time of 10.83. The starting lineup included Hega Edoy, Natasha Morrison of Jamaica, Elaine Thompson Hero, of course, of Jamaica, Marie Jose Talu of the Ivory Coast, Ejla Del Ponte, Otonique Strong, and uh, Lorraine Dorcas Lazolo. Thompson Hero looked relaxed and ready to run at the line. In fact, she looked so relaxed. We're getting, we're getting used to her looking like this. And the race went according to what one would have expected. Uh, at the starter's gun, Hera got, Tansi Hera got an okay start, not her best. Uh, strange enough, Alternic Strawn apparently did not hear the starter's gun and didn't even go into the set position. By the 50 meter mark, the race was really Elaine Thompson Hera with, of course, Marie Jose Talu comfortably in the second position and Jamaica's Natasha Morris holding down that third position. Now, I guess we could start calling her not just the world's fastest woman, but the sub-11 queen. She's been running some crazy times. Now, in the end, the official results were Elaine Thompson here, of course, in the first position running 10.83. Marie Jose Talou running second with 11.04. Natasha Morrison third with 11.22. Uh, Lorraine Dorcas uh, Bazzolo running 11.42 to take the fourth position in the fifth position Angela del ponte 11.42 also uh sixth uh hegard edu ran 11.84 and as we stated um uh, Otonic Stratton apparently did not hear even none of the commands she didn't even go into set position so she's marked dnf now elaine tom zahara has been running these sub 11s so often that we are we have gotten spoiled at her last outing at at the prefontaine classic she came away with another easy win running uh, a season's best so far of 10.79 Almost days before her run at the Prefontaine Classic, we saw at the National Stadium, surprising all, running an 11.35 in the heats and then running a 10.94 in the finals. Prior to that, we had seen her at the Puerto Rico Classic running that 10.93. And of course, there was her season opener at the Mount Sac Relays where she laid down the, th that then world leading time of 10.89 and looked again comfortable doing this.
Now, I understand that some of you will say 10.83, you can't be easy, but watch her race. She looked pretty easy. There's so much left in the gas tank. I'm not saying she's not making an effort, but she can clearly run way faster than 10.83 if pressed. Now, the thing is, who's going to press her? The only person I can think of at this point is Shelly and Fraser Price. And I've stated it publicly and repeatedly. They're not going to see each other or run against each other until the national trials. So Elaine is basically just working herself in. I still think she needs to get a, a better start. Her start is still not as good as it was at the Olympics in 20 the 2020 Tokyo Olympics last year. Um, so she's still clearly working on the mechanics of the race. These races are now beginning to look almost like training sessions. It's, it's, it's crazy. Training sessions where you're running a 10.83, a 10.79, a 10.94, a 10.89. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's insane. And what I'm very happy about is I see no signs of injury here. She looks perfectly fine, perfectly healthy. So um, I am not surprised. I'm sure that many of you who are track and field enthusiasts are not surprised that she won this easily. There was really no one there to push her or test her. Closest person being Marie Jose Talu, and Talu just has not yet found her form for the season. We know that she's capable of going fast, and Natasha Morrison is just working her win. So congratulations to Jamaica's uh, Natasha Morrison for that third place win. And of course, Marie Jose Talu. And con congratulations to all the ladies in the team. But people, Elaine Thompson Hera, um, I'm seeing no sign of that shoulder injury, so I'm hoping it's it's gone. She looks remarkable. She's in amazing, amazing form. Congrats and big up to the great world's fastest woman, Elaine Thompson Hera, for this easy 10.83. I can't believe I'm putting easy and 10.83 in the same sentence for a female sprinter. So let's take a quick look at your comments. These comments are from our previous post where we announced her running at the Rabbit Diamond League. Christopher Wilson uh, predicted, he said, I think Elaine is going to do 10.75 on that day because of her injury, but I wish her a speedy recovery. One love, Sister Elaine, God's guidance. Uh, close, 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 King. Um, Margaret Kirkland said, thank you for being the wing at her feet. If it's your will, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. And our final co comment, um, Queen Cassandra Hunt wrote, Elaine will run 10.81. Easy win. You are, you are the closest on the money. You said 10.81. She ran 10.83. And you're right. It was a really easy clinical run. So do not forget to hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. Go ahead and hit the notification bell. Hit the like if you enjoy the content. Um, leave a comment. Please leave a comment. You are kings and queens. By the way, tell me if you are surprised that she won. I doubt any of you are. Bless up.